Starbucks and I got an iced almond latte and then they oh, oh this is yours and then I'm so tired right now we have like this random layover and I think right now in LA it's 4 a.m but at Starbucks they just have plain oat milk I mean not oat milk oatmeal and then I just got a banana cut that shiz up <laughs> Really hits it with the merch. Okay, so we just got lunch and they delivered a bread basket which I demolished. <laughs> We're talking demolished. I really did. Anyways, anyways. Okay. So I was really confused and I was like, what a tease. Like they brought us bread with no butter, but I was like, why did they bring so many bells? I literally still did not I didn't figure it out. And then Kellen was like, I think it's butter. <laughs> I was really perplexed. I was like, why are there so many bells? How excited are you to be in Bermuda? Guys, I'm so excited because this is the first time that we're doing an influencer trip together. Yep. Having Ellen as my plus one is a true honor. God, these shoes are literally so cute, but oh my goodness. Either they don't stay up or you have to tie it like that. But the weather is so perfection here, and I'm so excited to be here because it's my second time in Bermuda with Rivol. I literally feel like I wore the wrong Are you bloody vlogging? She's vlogging, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to like and subscribe and that's it, right? Yeah. <laughs> what do you say? I'm actually going back early because I have to turn in a video for a job. So I need to edit that right now, right before dinner. So that's what we're doing. And welcome to our room, MTV Cribs. Do you want to see how like messy I got after one day? so beautiful hi welcome to our hotel room so for this trip our deliverables are real in tiktok so you know makes a mess every single time without without missing Are you so ready to grub right now? I'm starving. I, I am very ready. The food has been impeccable. So we just got done with Yacht Day. We're back in our hotel. I took my face off. I've yet to shower. I just wanted to eat before. It was so much fun, guys. It was literally the perfect amount of Letitia. I got a fish sandwich. Um, a salad for us to share because we haven't eaten greens today and he got this really yummy looking pasta. It looks like I'm doing one of those like Vogue Beauty Secrets video. I feel like I've been in such a rush because I have a deadline due for another job and I'm trying to get Revolve content. So I've really been <laughs> rushing and really rushing Kellen with my photos too. Now we are back in the room and it's like 10 o'clock. There's like a new thing I've been doing where like basically when I get unready for bed, I've been making Kellen watch me 
Oh, that sounds, that sounds like more exciting than it actually is. But basically, when I take my face off, I make him stand with me so I know what he feels like because girls have to take off their makeup every single day. This is also the after party that's going on. looking for going through my photos right now from this trip and also like I shot a swimsuit for Fendi and literally usually before these revolve trips like I go on a hardcore diet I gym you know don't eat carbs don't eat sugar <laughs> I literally just zero prep on this trip okay your girl is eating bread and sugar and a white rice all the good things in life okay and now we're editing my photos and I literally cannot let me show you some where my angles look real bomb. And then we're going to show you the bread. The big bread energy. <laughs> the big bread energy. Like, okay, okay, there we go. There we go. Bam. My eyes doesn't look that. I guess it doesn't look too bad. Gorgeous. I don't see anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Light. Oh, this lighting is delicious. Going to eat breakfast. Pack. You want to work to the airport. This is all we wanted to do with the Koodle with Wibblebear. And we're back. Back to Koodle Volume 6. I went to my doctor's appointment. I got my blood drawn. I just basically did my, my annual physical appointment. This is your reminder to do your annual physical appointment your doctor's appointment and your dental checkup okay those are two things that we should not put off I feel like when I was younger I would always put those off like I don't even know I definitely wasn't going to a dentist every year or regularly even just for even for a cleaning but now I feel like now that I'm older she's in her 30s I have a health as a priority um, dental health overall body health so make sure you go to your appointments that is my spiel I'm heading home right now to Willow. Um, Kellen has started going to work, so basically that means that like the max that I can be out is tops like four hours because I don't want Willow to be home for that long because we do have to let her out to use the bathroom because we don't use um, pee pads or anything like that. She just uses the restroom outside. And that is it. This new thing where I've been wrapping up my work day at five o'clock and it's been really great but in trade I start my day a little bit earlier so 
this is just a little chatty drive. So this morning, I finally reactivated my class pass. I went to a 7.30 plate fit class and it's only 30 minutes long. So it's really good. Basically you exercise on these plates that vibrate. So essentially they just like burn more fat because you're vibrating, I think, or something like that. But I like it because it's only a 30 minute workout. So you're literally in and out of there with like a solid sweat. This is gonna be the chattiest thing ever because there's so much traffic right now getting home. When I do long drives like this, it's a great time to listen to podcasts. Podcasts that I really, really love. Oprah, Super Soul Conversations. I'm like trying to focus and trying to vlog. This is my first time vlogging and driving. It's kind of like an art, honestly. People make it look real easy, but it's a lot of concentration going on up in here. Another one that I really love is um, Think Like a Monk with Jay Shetty. Always inspirational, pretty diverse podcast. I feel like he talks about a range of things, but it's always little gems in there. And he has really great guests on. Life with Mariana. I just adore her. But also she has really great guests on, especially if you are in the influencing space or you want to be an entrepreneur. I feel like she has great founders on there. I love the questions that she asks. Um, and I just love, honestly, like every single person she's had on thus far. I feel like it's very relevant to my field, so I really love it. Um, I just started listening to the Founders Journal, which is a podcast by the founder of Morning Brew, which is like a literally quick bites of your news. But I love the way they present it. Really easy to digest. Again, really quick bite. So that's how I get my news. I catch up really quickly. I love that journal. He's really straightforward. The podcast is only like nine minutes long. So you're like in and out. Um, 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 um. And then I really like the Glossy podcast because I'm obsessed with the beauty industry. And I love listening to founder stories, CEO stories, just like seeing just like the way that their brain works and they feel like they're cut from a different, what am I thinking of? Texture is cut from a different, I forget the lyric right now, it's a Jay-Z lyric. Um, I just love the way, just seeing the way that their mind works. More times than not, I'm listening to a podcast because I want like a jolt of like, oh shit, I feel really inspired, you know? Um, another one is Lewis Howes. What is this podcast called? School of Greatness. He has cool guests on. Podcasts can kind of be a little bit lengthy. Sometimes they're usually over an hour, but I like that one too. Really good for when you're in traffic. Um, 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 um those are the ones I can think of off my head. Oh, the Goop podcast. Oh, I can't believe I almost forgot that one. I love the Goop podcast. I love anything that Goop fucking touches. I'm always shopping on their website. Goop is good. I'm not used to this silence really because usually when I'm driving, I'm listening to a podcast or I blast music. I'm telling you, it's such a good time <laughs> because I feel like the audio in cars are really good and I've been obsessed. And when I tell you I'm obsessed, I will listen to the same thing over and over and over. And what I'm obsessed right now is Tyler the Creator's new album. So if you haven't listened to the Tyler the Creator album, you have to listen to it. He's so good. Um, yeah, you know, he's cut from a different... What am I thinking of? What is that Jay-Z song? My texture is the best for it. I'm gonna go home and eat my Sakura.